Well, hello everybody. I haven't done any videos for a little bit, so kind of getting back at it, putting some content out there. It's good to take a little break for a while. Showing you my newest purchase, metric vintage snap-on in metric. Oh, I just said metric. Metric deep snap-on vintage. This is my standard set. Picked those up a while ago. And they're handy to have. Um, USA made stuff is still, a lot of it is SAE standard. And if you're not going to be working on ag equipment or turbo parts or, again, any USA made. So it's good to have these in the box. And now they've got sort of their cousins, the metric set. And so this means I've got two sets of deep. Like I've got a uh, new snap-on in deep standard. And then I've got new snap-on in metric deep. These these are in impeccable shape. I mean, 19, 18, 17 mil, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. A 10 is missing, so somebody's replaced it, and then a 9. It's missing an 8, I guess you could say, to make it a 12-piece 12 12 set. But I don't care too, too much. Uh, they're pretty well taken care of. I'll clean them up a bit, spin them on the Scotch Bright pad, take a little bit of the grime off. 18 mil here is the dirtiest. Seen a lot of action. 19 mil there. So that's good. Uh, the idea behind this is to have. A full-on metric set and standard in my road box. So for me, I've got construction equipment and we've got generators, air compressors, dual actin, piston pumps, paint sprayers, you name it. And when it's time to go down to my shop, and work on stuff, I like to bring my own tools, even though I've got tools in the trailers. They're work tools, and you never know what's been abused or missing. So I always want to have my own stuff with me, and I need a box that I can load. And I'm getting tired of taking a blank box and having to think about what to put in it. So the idea now is, all right, why not just have two sets of everything at twice the cost? <laughs> I actually got the mindset shift from um, a really well-to-do mechanic. And we were talking about snap-on tools. And I said, yeah, they're expensive. But once you got your box set up, then you're good. And he said, yeah, but then you need to get twice as much. And I said, why is that? And he goes, well, you're scared of losing it or you got to be in two different locations or you don't want to take your stuff from the shop in the in the service truck and he's like you're never done buying and I was like hey that's a really good idea I should have basically the old saying of two is one and one is none I ought to have two of everything so it's I'm doing that I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna have two sets of metrics and two sets of standards and Get twice the wrenches and what do you think? You think that's a dumb idea? Yeah, I'll clean this one up. Hasn't been abused. We'll spin it on the tools and get the shine back and everything will be looking good. Somebody's taking really good care of these. Uh, date code on them. Have to look. This one's a little scraped up for date codes. Let's see here. On a 19. See, not everything has a date code. This one is not stamped. 
with a date code. So I don't know when this one would have been made. But overall, they're looking really good. These ones here, these standard ones, uh, are Canadian-made snap-ons. They were the Canadian foundry. These ones obviously are USA made. I just adore the vintage snap-on. I really do. Because it's just a bygone era of real tools, real craftsmanship, real quality. I like the, uh, the cursive underlined logo. And uh, I try to collect this stuff as much as I can. Like, I want to have... A good mixture of old and new. I mean, if I'm going to beat on stuff, I beat on the new because I can easily replace it. But if I'm just standard taking something apart and working on stuff, I've got all my old vintage stuff out as well. Wrenches, ratchets. I mean, ratchets, you can put a head kit in them and they're good to go. So I've got a new road box ordered and it'll be here. Well, it was supposed to be here in November, then that turned to end of November, that turned to December, and then it's now after Christmas. Yeah, Snap-on has kept putting me off, but I'll do a feature ad on that. I've got a bunch of tools ordered, a bunch of new stuff to do reviews on, and just showcase. i got some ratchets. I've got a new-to-me box. I picked up a used beach box, beach tools. I'll show you that one. So stick around. It's going to be interesting. Lay out your comments. I'll get back to you. I'll clean these up. Maybe I'll do a little follow-up once they're cleaned up. You can check them out then. If you like old Snap-on stuff the way I do, this is cool content. I'll show you some of the old ratchets that I got as well. Okay, I'm going to check out. Talk to you in a few days.